Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Midwife Jamie. On my channel, I talk about life in the UK, military practice in the UK, and I share my experiences as an immigrant living in the UK with you as well. If it's your first time popping on the channel, thank you for passing by. Kindly subscribe and share the video. Thank you so much to all my returning subscribers. I love you and I thank you for the support that you gave. I have come your way today with a video with regarding to what you need to do immediately. You land in the UK to make sure that you are settling in well and you are not stressing out at all. So the first thing I'm talking about is immigration and customs. The moment your flight lands in the UK, the first stop is immigration and customs. So you need to go through immigration and customs, follow the queue to go through all the systems, make sure that you've got your passport, very close to you you've got other documents like your offer letter just in case they have to have a look at it it is ready available to show it to them and then make sure that you are declaring anything that you have that needs to be declared if you sail through that process quietly and smoothly then you move on to the baggage claiming area so you go there and you collect all your checked baggage then when you have sailed through that process smoothly you now have to move out and sort out your transportation so if your trust is receiving you at the airport they will be there ready for you with your name on a placard receiving you warmly and then transporting you to your location but if you come in on your own then you have to just check yourself out and then get your transportation that you have planned ahead because you need to plan transportation ahead either you have booked a taxi ahead you have booked a bus ahead you are going to go by train you booked it ahead you sort out your transportation and then you come to your location don't forget i was always looking on my google map because i didn't know where i was going honestly like i know i'm going to this town but i don't know which route and which whatever so i was just on my google map having a look making sure that i'm going to the right place you know? so you can just make sure that you are safe by looking at your google map navigating through it and then you will be okay so once you have arrived at your location then you have to check in into the accommodation make sure that you have information as to where the key is reservation and everything is sorted out if your trust is receiving you they are going to take you to the accommodation they have booked for you and then you have to relax and settle in nicely now you have settled in have you got any money with you so if you don't have any exchange in pounds then you have to find an atm or a post office they do that for free they will exchange your local currency into the foreign currency and then it makes your life easier if you've got your bank cards and all that you might not need to worry about the exchange because you can pay with your bank cards as well the next thing is mobile phone and SIM cards. If you did not get a UK SIM card before you relocated, this is the time that you have arrived, settled in nicely. Then you have to find a SIM card so that it makes your life easier in the UK because roaming charges are so expensive. So if you get a UK SIM card, you can easily make calls and all that. It makes your life easy. The next thing is to collect your BRP. So the letter that the Home Office sent you would have the post office postcode for you to collect your brp so they give you the address to the post office where your brp is supposed to be so just enter that address into your google map and it's going to take you there collect your brp so for most health workers like us you would find your brp and your ni in the same card but if you come in as a dependent as a student then you will need to apply for your ni before you be able to work so you have to sort that out immediately as you have arrived you now have to open a bank account so you need to open a bank account in the uk they are going to need your addresses and identification like a passport to open a uk bank account the next registration you have to do quickly is with the healthcare service which is the nhs which facilitates health staff in the uk so you need to register with the one that is very close to you also you can search on online to see you just type gp surgeries close to me and then all the list is going to come find one 
give them a call, register with them. Some of them might just give you a link and then you register by the link and that will be that. So you make sure that you have registered with a GP and that you are sure that if they, anything is happening to you in terms of your health, you've got a plug to switch on to. Aside that, you need to familiarize yourself with the emergency services. So you need to know that 999 is for police, is for fire, and it's for ambulance. And if you've got kids, 111 is for kids as well. So familiarize yourself with these. So if you have not been able to register with a health care service or with a GP and you have any emergency when it comes to your health, don't hesitate to call 999. They will ask you a few questions and then they will sort you out to make sure that you are happy. In terms of your health now that you have settled in or you are settling in you have to explore your area lock the door go out explore the parks find the close by grocery shops and all that just make sure that you know where to find little little things there are african shops you can just do window shopping you know shop through them and find out where the prices are cheaper to buy the things that you need to buy and then you make those places your friend you know so don't stay home all day don't stay indoor all day you are settling in so settle in as well outside look for the things that you might need outside so you don't get stranded whenever you need them the next thing you need to do is to start looking for accommodation immediately if you do not have a permanent accommodation. So for NHS trusts that offer accommodation, they will offer the accommodation for a month, two or three. So start looking for accommodation. It takes a long time sometimes for you to be able to find an accommodation that you like and there's a lot of process you have to go through you have to find the accommodation inform the agency that you are interested and then you have to go for a viewing wait for the landlord's approval do reference checks there's a lot of things so the earlier you start the better for you so start looking for accommodation if you are not in a permanent accommodation if you are in a short stay like airbnb travel lodge any of those short stays to you need to start looking for accommodation immediately when you have finally found an accommodation there are a few things that you need to do if your accommodation requires you to pay council tax then you have to register with the council and then they will give you how much you are supposed to pay based on your council tax band per year and then you start paying it monthly by direct debit if the accommodation does not require you to pay council tax you don't need to do any registration with the council because your landlord is paying the council tax in the same vein if your landlord is the one paying the council tax most of the time they are the same people paying the water bill the light bill and the gas as well if you are paying your own council tax it is most likely you are going to set up your own direct debit and stuff for electricity for gas for water and your own phone bills as well make sure that you have done all these things to stay out of trouble because the council tax is so important it contributes to building a good credit score so you have to make sure that you are doing that as required after you have sorted out your accommodation you have to register for a voters registration so go to the government website and just type voters registration all the forms are going to pop out for you to fill and then it's all done online so you don't need to stress the last thing i'm going to say is cultural norms again and again and again i'll mention it in most of my videos because you can easily get offended by how somebody is even greeting you if you are not used to it i have said in one of the videos you get somebody meet you and say are you okay back home somebody asks you are you okay you're going to question it why are you asking me am i okay yes in the uk is a form of greeting are you okay they want to make sure you're fine you're okay you're settling in well so it's normal familiarize yourself settle in well and then hopefully you're going to have a lovely stay i have come to the end of the video take note of all these things that we have discussed if you're an internationally educated midwife or nurse trying to relocate to the uk i've got the telegram page still active people are asking questions getting answers people are asking about interviews suggestions are being made on there and they are being successful so join the telegram page by the link and ask all your questions there some people have been asking me if i do one-on-one -on -one and stuff i don't do those things but i'm able to give my maximum best on the 
telegram page so join the telegram page ask your questions i'm not the only one there a lot of people have sailed through the process they have better options to offer you more than i might be able to offer so please join on the telegram page ask your questions and let's get on there i'll see you in my next video thank you